Well, America's founding fathers took center stage during this week's impeachment hearing. I believe the framers would identify President Trump's conduct as exactly the kind of abuse of office, high crime and misdemeanor that they were worried about. In James Madison's words, it was an influential essay in the Federalist Papers, Alexander Hamilton declared. Alexander Hamilton said very clearly, I'm really sorry the president made this necessary by his complete disregard for the vision of our founders. Well, but would the framers actually give their seal of approval? to this latest impeachment process. Presidential historian Doug Weed joins us now. Uh, Doug, I suspect that they are being a little liberal, shall I say, with their use of what the framers intended. Uh, that's right. Hi, Ed. And good morning. Pete and Lisa, they better be treating you good up there. That's all I can <laughs> Thank say. Thank you. But uh, yes, I, I found this was stunning that they would bring professors from Harvard and Stanford in where they don't even allow free speech on campus to lecture us on the U.S. Constitution. And the attacks the one professor made, she says she hates Trump so much she can't even walk on the sidewalk outside his hotel and she attacks Barron, their 13 year old yeah. son. I felt that keenly because there were uh, attacks on my children threatening their lives because I wrote a book about Donald Trump inside uh, the Trump White House. So that was stunning to me, uh, uncalled for. So uh, you make an important point, but let's look at the big picture as well, which is what did the framers really intend? Tell us where these professors went wrong. Well, <laughs> the Constitution, what Nancy Pelosi should have done is coordinate with the presidential candidates because you've got presidential candidates in the Democrat Party who are saying that the Constitution is dated. Mm -hmm. You've got another one who just yesterday wants to gut the Constitution and create a parliamentary so style government, uh, depart from a republic, that's Elizabeth Warren, mm -hmm. no electoral college. You've got others who want to upset the balance of the Constitution by by diluting the judiciary, limiting their terms, and adding the number of judges. Uh, <laughs> they, need to, they need to all get in one room, knock heads, and get together. And there's the 16, Ed, the 1619 project with the New York Times, yeah. where the Democrat Party is trying to re-educate American youth to tell them that our founding fathers were criminal slave owners who were trying to create a slave state, in spite of the fact that slavery existed in the British Empire. Yeah. Till the 1830s. Well, we appreciate your history lesson, Jonathan, this morning, because Jonathan Turley became the star of the show, and he basically, uh, you know, quoted back what George Washington would be saying, and it wouldn't be pretty about these current impeachment proceedings. Doug Weed, you That's mentioned true. he's the author of Inside the Trump White House, the real story of his presidency. Pick it up. In the meantime, Doug, we appreciate your insight this morning. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Ed. Coming up, college students say they support free tuition for illegal immigrants. A lot of Democratic presidential candidates say that too. But how much would they be willing to?